Hi, Nate from Gear West here. We're going to talk about how to base prep your skis. So new skis or newly stone ground skis, um, except for from us because we hotbox and base prep your skis for you. So first thing I like to do with a new ski or uh, or a newly stone ground ski is to brush them out. And I use um, a, a broken in steel brush, uh, like the Swix ones, or you got an old home and coal really fine steel brush. These are good brushes for, for just starting out. We're just going to try to clean off some of the stuff that's on there if there is anything. Brush it out a few times. I like the, uh, the rule of fives. So make five tip to tail passes. Just like that. Now we're going to use the white fiber tax to cut any micro hairs that are left on the base. And with the white fiber text or any fiber text, you just go a scrubbing back and forth motion like this. And again, rule fives, so five times. Okay, so now we're gonna put some wax on the skis. And before I wax, after the fiber text, I just brush one more time. Just once, tip to tail. Um, with the wax, because there's never been any wax in this ski, I'm just going to crayon on a quick layer on both sides of the, the groove just to have a little extra protection. Now we're going to iron in some wax. Remember with uh, all these base prep waxes, the lower the iron temperature, the better off you are. So I've got our iron set at 115, which is really about as cold as the iron gets. Got a little too much in the groove right there. So you're looking for good even coverage across the entire width of the ski. Um, because this is such, this is the Swix Base Prep 99, because it's such a soft wax, I'm not really worried about overheating the base with this wax because you can get it to an almost molten state just between your fingers. Um, as always, I like to scrape the groove right away. And I also clean off the side holes. We're gonna let this sit for mm, a minute. And switch to another ski. So now we're gonna scrape and brush our base prep, uh, and then we're gonna use a harder wax. The ones that I like are you use Rex RCF, which is a low floral, or Swix LF6, and you're gonna do about five coats of this stuff. So, and yes, you really want to do five coats. Scrape our base prep. The base prep is mostly just a, a hot scrape. It'll align all your PTEX hairs and also cut the, the ones that are too long. So it is very important to use a sharp scraper. There are several good sharp, scraper sharpeners on the market. Uh, the one that we actually use in the shop here is made by a guy in Ohio, Ski Scraper Sharpener. So they're uh, made here in, in, the, in the States. So we like to support our local businesses. All right. So now we're going to melt on. Uh, I'm going to use the Rex RCF. Turn the iron up a little bit. I like to use around 130, 135. See if it's melting. These irons are pretty quick to respond, so. doesn't take much with this wax. The base prep just melts so fluidly that it's difficult to get a small amount on your skis, but base prep is so inexpensive that you don't really have to worry about that, whereas like using the RCF or the LF6, it's you only want to use as much as you need to cover the base. So while you're ironing, you can see, you can see it soak into the base material. 
And if you don't have good coverage, you can see that as well because you'll see bare spots. The more you do it, the better at it you get. I like to give it one good pass, and I'm looking for liquid behind the iron. Anywhere from one, well, anywhere from nothing to three inches. That's how I determine my iron speed across the ski. And then I'm going to scrape the groove in the sidewalls because it does make it easier to do it before the wax cools. Handy in my pocket. I'm a scraper. There we go.